Alright, so my last video, I showed you how to adjust the coils, a little left, a little right, and get your max spike down here on the uh, O-scope. So, tonight, I'm going to show you how to adjust these all these potentiometers for your best timing on the circuit I say firing because if you have it too low you don't get enough voltage if you have it too high you get multiple spikes and I don't think that's good for these transistors so let's talk about that we're going to Shut all these off, except for one. I'm going to keep one running. Okay. So let's show down here. This is coil one all by itself. So I'm going to take that potentiometer I showed you to remind you again. Here it is, a close up. So here's a close-up of circuit number one, and I'm going to adjust this left and right for more or less, and get my max voltage out of it. Alright, let's go back down to the O-scope. Now here's the O-scope again. I'm going to turn this potentiometer for number one down. Oh, so as soon as I touched it, I'm right on the edge already. So I turn it down, the voltage goes down. I turn it up, the voltage goes, whoa, that's too much. I don't think that's good for the transistor. If I turn the resistance up too high, uh, too much, too high, I get double spikes going up going up going up oh it's deforming well see if I go up even higher I don't think that's good for the transistor so I go down right there and turn it up oh, just enough to get the best spike now I'm going to turn this one off on this switch on the uh, control board. Okay, I'm going to turn off number one and turn on circuit number two, which is this guy right here. That's number two. All right, so here one goes off. Two goes on. That's looking okay. Let me adjust the resistor here. Well, too high and too low. Go up, go up, go up, 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 up. More resistance. More. Re oh, we're at the edge. See? Alright, turn it down a little bit. Nice solid peak. These are uh, two amps each. I used to burn up the little ones. They used to arc. Turn it up. Whoops, too high, too high. Nice stable spike. Looks pretty good. Alright, those been eight magnets. It divides this over time, and you get a higher root mean square off your voltage. 
if you have eight coils and eight magnets, all you're going to get, oops, too high, all you're going to get is one big spike, and there's a lot of time in between. I know we're talking milliseconds, but if you add up all these spikes and offset them, eight magnets and nine coils, you get a whole lot of spikes really close together. Now, I've adjusted all the circuits. We're going to turn them all on. And that's the timing between them, which I have to adjust again because I did move some coils. <laughs> 